Hi, do you live in mountains? Or, the temperature of your place goes below zero degree. Then one can sustain hypothermia. Cold related injury of foot and hand are also common in such environment. One of the most common cold injury is frostbite. Hi, I am Ree, from Medicos Iris, let's visualize medicine with us. Frostbite, occurs when skin is exposed to extreme cold. And they at times, combined with high winds. Let's see what happens at microscopic level when frostbite occurs. Microscopically it is divided into four phases. Phase 1, is called pre-freeze stage. First superficial cooling of skin occurs, which leads to vasoconstriction. This ultimately leads to stasis of blood in peripheries. Then comes phase 2, which is called freeze-thaw phase. In this phase, the plasma inside the cell freezes on prolonged exposure to cold environment. If the cold exposure continues, the extracellular fluid also gets freezed which leads to dehydration of cells. Then, the vascular stasis phase comes. This happens after hours of exposure to sub-zero temperature. This phase is marked by further stasis of blood and thrombus formation, and further propagation of thrombus. Due to cell dehydration and intracellular ice crystallization, the capillary cell disruption happens, and blood leakage occurs. Finally, the late ischemic phase sets in. This phase starts by vasoconstriction which leads to stasis of blood, finally leading to thrombus formation, hence blood supply reduces to peripheries. Due to decreased blood supply to tissues, anaerobic metabolism starts, which leads to lactic acid formation. If this vicious cycle continues, the cells die and tissues necrosis sets in. After discussing the mechanism at microscopic level, we will now see what symptoms it will lead to. The most common sites to get affected is, hand and lower limb. Initially the skin of the affected part will be cold to touch. There will be blister formation, which can be clear, or blood filled. A person can also have pin pricking sensation, or itching. In the later stages, the affected part becomes bluish to black in color, that means gangrene and necrosis has set in. Finally, let us discuss how we will treat frostbite. If a suspected or confirmed case of frostbite comes, check vitals of the patient. Always give priority to airway, breathing and circulation first then just focusing onto the frostbitten part. If the clothing of the patient is wet change it, as it can worsen the frostbite or hypothermia. Treat hypothermia first. If the patient has severe hypothermia immerse the patient in warm water, the temperature of the water should be between 38 to 40 degrees Celsius. For mild to moderate cases, apply warm packs and start warm IV fluids. Now start the medicines. First, give tetanus injection to patient if not already taken in last one year, as frostbitten skin is necrosed and dirt might get in, which might cause infection and tetanus. Secondly, start the patient on peripheral vasodilators, like pentoxifiline or nifedipine. Also add ibuprofen in 15 mg per kilogram dosage, ibuprofen inhibits cox, leading to lower prostaglandins levels and thromboxane A2. Finally, do sterile dressing of the affected part, start on gram-positive and gram-negative antibiotic cover. As we know, prevention is better than cure, let us see how can we prevent frostbite. Always take these precoto on while going out in cold environment. First, wear gloves. Double layer socks snow boots. Cover your face and neck. Wear warm clothing in multiple layers. If you like this video, do like and share this video with your friends. Hit on the subscribe button for more such videos. Thank you.